I'm standing in Lafayette, Georgia, in front of a couple of chestnut trees that are part of the American Chestnut Breeding Program. And I came to harvest today, but instead pruned a little bit. And these burrs on the American-Chinese hybrid are not open yet. So all of the nuts look like this, and that's very small for a nut. I don't think there's a nut in it that's going to cause the involucre or burr to open, and I suspect incomplete pollination. This tree wasn't bagged as it usually is in the American chestnut tree breeding program. So now I'm gonna go in the woods and harvest or check on two pure American chestnut trees. So I'm standing in front of something that's pretty rare in the woods, which is a tall American chestnut tree. The chestnut tree is not what's interesting, it's that it has burrs on it or nuts that have been pollinated from a nearby American chestnut tree about 20 meters away. So this is extremely rare to find in the woods. And I think the reason that it's here is because the owners found these trees. They cleared out the brush underneath them and that allowed the canopy to open up and the sunlight to make the trees grow tall rapidly, which is what American chestnuts do best. This is pure American chestnut tree pollinated by another pure American, and these are completely closed, but I have a feeling they'll be ready in about a week and a half. A couple of times, but that was because it was hand pollinated and it had bags over it. But this has just been open pollinated by a nearby other American chestnut tree because their population has been decimated to the point where they don't grow enough to produce in the wild. Uh, they're not dead, we still have them, but they grow uh, so high and then they get the blight and die back down to the ground level. And then they sprout back up from the base because the disease doesn't kill the entire tree, it just kills the bark, eats the bark. So even if there were two chestnut trees adjacent in the woods, everyone wants to get at a chestnut because it's so nutritious, including deer and squirrels.